What is Morgan without Gorman? Is, 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 how different does this institution come become without James Gorman, Mike? Well, it will be the end of an era as James Gorman leaves over the next 12 months. And he restructured their capital markets business, their trading business. And this is shortly after Morgan Stanley would have failed during the global financial crisis within days. James Gorman came in and restructured that business. He also expanded their annuity-like wealth management business. So on both fronts, he did really well. Um, I upgraded the stock. It was at $13 a little more than a decade ago. And people said, what are you doing? James Gorman, he doesn't know this business. He's not a trader. <laughs> He's not an investment banker. He's a consultant. You have a consultant yep. running Morgan Stanley, yeah, yeah. he's going to fail. And here we are uh, 12, 13 years later saying what a great job he's done. It's been one of the best performing bank stocks uh, since he took over as CEO. Um, but there is an issue now. And the right. issue, it's we see a two-person horse race coming up. Um, and we see the head of uh, wealth, uh, Andy Saperstein, and that's a strong business. That's been the engine. They've gathered client assets. Uh, they, the great acquisition was Smith Barney that yeah. really accelerated yeah, yeah. them. Uh, and we estimate that that business is two thirds of Morgan Stanley's valuation. On the other hand, you have Ted Pick, who helped to restructure that complicated capital markets business. And there's really three big banks globally in investment banking and trading, and that would include Morgan Stanley. So you have Ted Pick versus Andy Saperstein. We have, I guess, a little uh, match over the next 12 months to see who gets the reins of Morgan Stanley. Jocking there. It reminds me a little bit of Goldman Sachs all those years ago when Blank Fine said he was going to leave. Um, speaking of, Jamie Dimon, does he say anything about this, or does he give us the five-year shtick on Monday? You know, maybe 75 is the new 65 when it comes to bank CEOs. Uh, Jamie Dimon really, uh, I was very negative on him and JP Morgan at the start of last year. I thought their expenses were out of control. I thought they lacked transparency. I thought they lacked accountability. They canceled their investor day. And then they did a big pivot. They had their investor day. Mm -hmm. uh, now they're growing revenues faster than expenses. They've given you more transparency. And, uh, and then they got First Republic uh, helping, the, helping the country and helping them. And they were just, again, in the right place at the right time because they're in so many places so many times. So I think Jamie Dimon is staying for another five years, which is the standard answer. But that will be one of many questions I hope to ask.